But first, and I'm not going to spend too long on this, I don't want to contribute to a pile-on, nor do I want to bring any extra attention to what's occurred concerning New South Wales One Nation leader Mark Latham over the past 24 hours or so. But I do feel incredibly strongly about making sure condemnation occurs and to an appropriate extent. Not to punish the former Labor leader, but to reassure those he's hurt with his vile diatribe that his views are not consistent with how the vast majority of Australians feel. It's been well publicised. He put out a homophobic tweet, the contents of which were appalling. It was aimed at openly gay politician Alex Greenwich, whose response today, well, it was all class. I've made it clear my position on Mark Latham. I'm not going to engage in the content of his tweet and I'm not going to engage with him. I don't want to give him another soapbox for him to pretend to be a victim when he seeks to victimise people. All I can say is uh, I hope he's doing OK. Uh, I hope he's looking after himself. I hope he's reflecting on comments that he has made. Now, I also hope anyone who is struggling gets help. Most importantly, those who are affected by Latham's slur and others like it, but also the man himself. Though it does make it really hard to sympathise in any way, shape or form with Latham right now. Today, not only is he showing no remorse, in fact, it would seem he's doubling down. He's liked, and for those who don't do social media, that's like an endorsement, a number of comments supporting his original post, including, I couldn't have said it any better myself, Mark, and my first laugh out loud moment for today. Thanks, Mark. It's hard to fathom, if I'm being honest. It actually makes me just really sad. And where to from here? No, we're good. We all have the right to an opinion, to express ourselves, to exercise free speech. This was none of the above. It was highly offensive and deeply insulting, and there should be no place for it, not in politics, not anywhere. 